What's up, Tech? It's Josh here, and I am so excited to share with you guys this video because I just got the Mate 9 in the mail today. I can't wait to get it unboxed and share this experience with you guys. But first of all, I also want to say that I'm using the HTC U11 to record this video. It's something I'm trying out. I want to see if I can record my reviews using a smartphone as my camera. I'm just kind of curious to see if I could challenge myself to make the content look good while using a smartphone. So I need your help with that. I want you to leave a comment down below to let me know what the audio and what the video quality is like to you. Is it good? Is it bad? Can you hear me well? Do you see things well? When you see my face, I'm using the front facing camera. When you see other objects, it's the rear facing camera. So you can see the difference between both cameras. The HTC U11 does have a good camera in my opinion. It's got some cool audio technology, image stabilization, all that kind of stuff. So let me know down in the comments about what you think this video quality is like. Also subscribe to the channel so you don't miss my HTC U11 review that's going to be coming out really soon. Hoping to get that done this week. So let's go ahead and open up the Mate 9. This is one of the things I'm really excited about testing out because it's got the dual camera Leica technology. I'm really stoked about getting to use this camera. We got the device on top. We're just going to put that off to the side for just a minute. See what else comes in the box. It's got really nice premium design. I like it. It's got like this dark brown, like dark chocolate kind of look, gold lettering. It looks really nice. I like it. All right. Looks like we got charger, headphones, and USB inside of here. <laughs> well, that's not going to do me too much good. Good thing I got other chargers. Looks like we got a pretty long cable here, so that's always good. We got some earbuds that look a lot like the Apple earbuds. So I'll try those out in the full review. Got our SIM card tool. And it looks like we got a case that comes with it, so that's really awesome. I like when companies do that just because you don't have to go out and spend more money on a case. You can keep it nice. Or if you just need this to get you by until you get another kind of case. This is looking just like the paperwork. Yep, here's our good old paperwork. And I'm pretty sure not many people even look at. All right, so let's take a look around the device. We got some protected film. Kind of gives you an idea of how to use the SIM card port. It's going to be dual SIM, or you can use a SIM card and a SD card. Some different button layouts. There's a camera I want to test out. All right, so that was just the back. It doesn't look like... There. Yep, there is a screen protector. They do include a screen protector on this device here. I'm going to go ahead and take it off so I can get the nice glass kind of feel. Let's take a little tour around the device and we get it powered on and see what it's like. We got our speaker grills down here at the bottom, USB C connection at the bottom as well. Looks like we could get our SIM card port and tray right there. Headphone jack at the top. If I'm not mistaken, that could be an IR blaster. We have our power button here in the middle area and then our volume rocker. On the back we got our LED light, our dual camera setup, and it looks like a laser focus. Our fingerprint reader here and we got a microphone sitting on the top. Huawei branding on the bottom. So it's a full metal kind of casing here which I like that. I like metal designs better than glass. I'm just not been a big fan of glass lately. I mean glass looks good but it marks up so easy. You get fingerprints all over it. This, I mean, you can get scratches on it if you're not careful, but just the metal body just feels so good. It's got nice chamfered edges here. It's a really good looking device. Up at the top, got a camera, a sensor, and a speaker. And pretty much just the chin down here with a Huawei logo. All right, let's go ahead and get this powered on. This is exciting. I like Huawei products. I just think that they're coming out with really good phones. The Nexus XP was awesome. The Honor 8. You know, all those devices, they have some just really good quality to it. They usually don't cost near as much as what the top flagships cost. Like a Galaxy S8, man. Those things just get expensive. A little cinematic boot up. We got a motion UI on this. And we're greeted with our typical setup. I'm gonna go ahead and get through this so we can see what the front end looks like. I don't have a SIM, I'm gonna put in it right now, but I will connect to my Wi Fi. The 
just set up the fingerprint and see how fast it recognizes. If it's anything like what the 6P was, it was really fast. Okay. I like it better when they give you the option to add another fingerprint during the setup, but I'll have to do that later. Okay. All right. Everything's all loaded up. This is what Emotion UI looks like if you've never seen it before. It's not too bad. It's not terrible. It's not the worst in the world that I've seen. It's got a nice kind of dark theme. That's cool. Lots of options are here already loaded up. You can adjust those if you want to. You can drag them in different places. Like I like to put the flashlight towards the top. Screen recording, that's cool. Yeah, so that's all good stuff right there. You just hit back. And the reason why I like the flashlight on top is because it's something I access um, a lot more than those other kind of toggles. Nothing to the left. A few more apps on the right. You notice there's no app drawer down here. And I think that's something that you can change in the settings. So this is what comes preloaded onto the Mate 9. Comes with a 5.9 inch screen. It's a 1080 screen. It's got a 20 megapixel camera on the back. It's four gigs of RAM and a 4,000 milliamp hour battery. So this thing should last a pretty good while. It's got a beefy specs for, I mean, it doesn't have like the highest screen resolution, but 1080p, I mean, I'm looking at it right now and it looks really good. You can even see on screen, I think it looks pretty well in my opinion there. So when companies do a 1080p screen well, I like that. I'll do more testing, like seeing it outside and all that kind of stuff to see if it's still being able to see it in the daylight, in the sunlight, all that kind of fun stuff. As far as software goes, we got Emotion UI 5.0 and then we got Android version 7.0. And again, you got two different MEI numbers because you got two different SIM card trays. It's got an octa-core 2.4 gigahertz, four gigs of RAM, the internal storage, you got 64 gigs, so you got 50 gigs free. That's going to let you know that there's quite a bit of apps loaded on there. You know, it's available space is 50 gigs, but you can't expand that with an SD card. Just for a screen comparison size, you know, this is a 5.9 inch screen. This is a 5.8 inch screen. This is the Galaxy S8 on my right hand side. And you can see the difference in the size there. And it's going to be a wider screen. This is a different kind of aspect ratio. So that's one of the big differences. But dang, like that's a nice big screen right there. <laughs> and just to show you how quick the fingerprint reader is, watch how fast this is. It opens up pretty fast. It's a actually a noticeable difference between that and the Galaxy S8. Saw how it kind of, not, it's not laggy, but it's just not really snappy to open. And I'm, you know, got a error kind of vibration on this. Uh, I'm not a fan of the fingerprint placement here. I'm okay with my right hand if I switch over to my left hand. Anyways, I'll talk about the Galaxy S8 in another video. This is about the Mate 9. One of the things I want to do before I close out the video is do a camera test shot. I'll upload it to social media so you guys can see it. I'll do a front facing and also rear. So let's go ahead and open up the camera. Okay, swipe right for different modes. Swipe left to bring up the settings. Okay. That's pretty cool. I like that. That's a nice quick option. If you want to go to professional mode, all you got to do is swipe up or down. I don't like to do the GPS tag. All right, so let's do our first camera test. I'm not going to touch the focus or anything like that. Just snap the picture. I'll upload this to social media and you can see that over there. So let's test out those options that I was talking about. Okay. Dang, that's one of the things I like about Huawei. They include a lot of nice features in their camera app. I like a loaded camera app. That's really awesome. So tons of different options here. HDR, panorama, night shot, light painting, time lapse, slow-mo, watermark, all kinds of stuff. So that's pretty cool. Let's swipe over here, see what settings we got. All right, so it is defaulted on 12 megapixels. I'm going to go up to... 20. GPS tag if you want that. You can add watermarks. You got grid. Mute. I definitely like to do that. I don't want a sound to go off when I capture a photo. You got audio controls, touch to capture, object tracking. That's cool. Some nice options in this camera app. I like that a lot.
All right, pro mode, okay. So this is where you can get into the nitty gritty. You can adjust aperture, ISO, autofocus, a bunch of different options like that. And that's pretty simple to like toggle between that kind of stuff. We got our flash and I'm going to turn that off. I normally don't use flash. Oh, wide aperture enabled. That's such a cool feature too. This is pretty awesome stuff. All right, let's go with our front facing camera. Got perfect selfie or standard beauty. Uh, guess I'll go with the beauty. I'm just going to, I don't really like those options. Not saying I have the perfect face or nothing, but here we go. And as you can see here, there's the HTC U11. And there's that. Okay, it was on a timer. I don't like that. Let's see if we can turn that off. Yeah, you get different options when you go over to the front facing camera. And that's defaulted to 8 megapixels for the front facing. And you got different options there. Pretty cool stuff. All right. Yeah, so if you want to snap a picture quickly without that timer, make sure you got that timer turned off so you can snap your picture just like that. All right, so there's just a quick preview of what the camera looks like. I'm definitely going to be testing a lot of this out because I'm entering that contest. Wish me luck. I'll let you know what the video submission looks like. I can't wait to do that. It's challenging me to use a smartphone for a short film, so that's pretty cool. I like that. And I'm looking forward to working on that project. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Please hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss any more videos from me, including more about the Mate 9. Share this video with your favorite social networks. And until then, stay techie.